freestyle football has been enjoying an incredible rise in popularity over recent years, with the world of social media helping to shape its successful progression into the mainstream media. Andrew Henderson is the number one ranked freestyler in the world. Transworld Sport met up with the 22-year-old Englishman in London. He discovered the sport on the internet. I was randomly just watching videos on the internet and I found this freestyle video. I didn't even know it was called freestyle at the time, I just thought it was a guy doing tricks and actually I thought it was fake, but uh, I was just blown away by it. Freestyle football combines ball tricks with breakdancing choreography. In competitions, the ballers go head to head on a stage for three minutes, taking turns every 30 seconds to try and outdo their opponent. They're judged on their ball control, technical skill, creativity and style. Andrew won the first of his three world titles in 2011, just five years after taking up the sport in his back garden. Growing up in Cornwall, I never imagined to become world champion in freestyle or national champion. And when I started the sport, I didn't even know that those championships existed. And I think that's kind of, that helped me because I started it because of the right reasons. I enjoyed it, I had a passion for it, and I just wanted to get better and better. When I won the UK nationals was when I really decided, okay, I, I need to be the world champion and this is my goal. Andrew, who practices for several hours a day, makes a decent living from freestyle football. He travels the world for competitions and exhibitions and has even acted as a stunt double for Manchester United players in a TV ad. So, did he ever dream of being a professional footballer? Freestyle's a sport in its own right and football's another sport in its own right. The only, the only similarity is we use a football and I think that sometimes people People say, oh, are you a freestyler because, because you didn't make it in football or you know something like that. And actually, uh, for me, I played rugby for 10 years. So, you know, f football really wasn't like the ma a major interest for me, actually. Um, and the thing I like about it is you got no coach telling you what to do. You don't have to train a specific facility. And all you need is a ball. And it's as simple as that. You can just go out and practice and have fun and create your own style, create your own identity. Andrew choreographs all his own routines, which can take up to six months to perfect. He's able to contort his body into a dazzling array of moves that wouldn't look out of place in the rhythmic gymnastics arena. Now living in London, the Cornishman has a strict diet to help maximise performance. My diet is specific to help me get better in, in freestyle. And you might think, oh, isn't that a bit too extreme? You know, it's just, it's just doing tricks with a ball. But if you want to be the best at something and you want to give it your all, then every little inch I think is really important. And for me, that's, that's kind of how I look at it. Freestyle's at a stage where it's Established as a sport now, but it's not really publicly known. You know, not everyone knows that I'm the world champion. People will pass me here and they, they don't know that I'm the world champion. And if they see me do tricks, they might just think, oh, it's another guy doing skills. So as long as you can do skills, then there's an opportunity to make money, make money from freestyle and do adverts and that type of thing. And a lot of guys, I don't think they, they push hard enough with, with that. Andrew is currently competing on the F3 World Tour. It's a competition for 16 of the best freestylers and takes place all over the world. Yet although he still wants to be crowned world champion for a fourth time, Andrew Henderson's goals in the sport have changed somewhat in recent years. It was about me, to be honest. I wanted to win for me. I wanted to, to be the champion of the world because that was my dream, that was my goal, that was my everything. And I'm in a position now where I've got sort of like, I'm, I've become more of an ambassador for the sport because I've won 
so many of the, the highest level competitions and you know the opportunity to be part of something a sport that's growing I think that's something to be really proud of.